Hello guys. It's truly a great time to be a fan of sports. We have the T20 World Cup going on in the USA and the Caribbean and next month we have the Olympics happening in Paris. And right in the middle of these two sporting events, we have the UEFA Euros in Germany starting on the 15th of June. So stick around with us cuz we at K Sports are going to take you on a crazy footballing journey during the Euros 2024. And that starts with this video where we take you on a history of the UEFA Euros. The story of the Euros begins in the middle of the 20th century. I know, I know, I'm not going to bore you with a lot of details, so let's cut to the chase. The idea of the Euros was proposed by the secretary of the French Football Federation. He was a man of great passion, vision, and aggression. However, he could not live long enough to see his dream come true, and the first edition of the Euros was held in 1960, five years after he passed away. We are very grateful to that man, without whom we would probably never have this great competition. The first edition of the Euros was held in 1960 in France. There were four countries that took part in that tournament and two of them don't even exist now. They are the Soviet Union, Yugoslavia, France and Czechoslovakia. The Soviet Union triumphed over Yugoslavia in the first finals of the Euros or as they were known at the time, the European Nations Cup. In 1968, they rebranded to the UEFA Euros followed by the year in which the tournament was being held. The tournament is held once every 4 years and only in 2020 was it postponed to the next year because we were all under lockdown. As the tournament progressed it evolved expanding its format and attracting more teams with the 1960 competition in France seeing four teams the 1980 edition in Italy saw eight teams then in 1996 in England the competition doubled the number of teams to 16 and Euro 2016 was the first to have 24 teams in the competition the 16 euros that have happened so far have been won by 10 national teams germany and spain have the most number of titles in euro history having each won the tournament three times Italy and France have also been pretty successful and each of them have gone on to win the tournament twice. Russia or as they were known at the time the Soviet Union won it once in 1960 in the inaugural edition of the tournament. And the Czech Republic, Portugal, Netherlands, Denmark and Greece have all won the tournament once in their history. Throughout the 64 year history of the Euros there have been some memorable matches. One of the first ones that we dug up was a semi-final between Italy and the Soviet Union. that match ended in a draw and in those days they didn't have penalty shootouts so how was the game decided in a very controversial coin toss that the italians won going on to win the tournament in the end after 68 we have to mention 92 yugoslavia couldn't make it to the euros because their country was going through a war and as a result they were replaced by denmark at the very last minute denmark would go on to win those euros a true cinderella story talk about defying the odds and winning a competition where you weren't even supposed to compete in the first place Another famous upset was in 2004. Nobody expected the Greeks to make it past the group stage, much less all the way to the finals, but somehow they got there, where they eventually beat the hosts, the Portuguese in their very own backyard and won their first ever Euros. Did you know that ever since the start of the Euros there have been more than 800 goals scored in the competition, and this does not include penalties and shootouts. That averages to almost 3 goals scored per game. This is why the Euros is a tournament that keeps the fans on the edge of their seats. throughout the 90 minutes and since the euros are such gold fests we wanted to give you a glimpse into the pure attacking talent that is on display cristiano ronaldo leads the way for the most number of goals scored in the euros at 14 he's followed by michel platini antoine griezmann alan shearer and thierry henry looking at the players with the most number of assists cristiano ronaldo features here again ronaldo is second on the all time list with 7 assists talking about the youngest scorers of the competition cristiano ronaldo features yet again He was just 19 when he slotted home with his first ever goal in the Euros and he hasn't looked back since. And finally, looking at the list of the oldest scorers in Euro history, it's no surprise that Ronaldo features yet again. When he scored his last goal in the 2021 edition, he became the fifth oldest player to have scored a goal in the Euros. The Hungarian goalkeeper Gábor Királi was the oldest player to have featured in a game in the Euros at 40 years of age in 2016. But that record could be broken. by Cristiano Ronaldo's teammate Pepe when he features in a game for the Portuguese in this year's tournament. Gary Lineker had a very famous quote where he said, "Soccer is a simple game. 22 men chase the ball and in the end the Germans always win." And that's why we have to talk about the most successful team in the history of the competition, Germany. Germany are currently the team that has played the most number of games in the history of the competition and it's no surprise that they also have the most number of wins. Germany also have the third most number of draws at 13. But here's a stat that the Germans won't be proud of. They have the second most number of losses in the history of the tournament at 
That's a number that they definitely don't want to see increase. In spite of being one of Europe's most premier tournaments, the UEFA Euros have seen some crazy mascots along its history. So a mascot is generally a person, an animal or an object that is used to represent a club or in this case a tournament and it's supposed to bring good luck or good vibes. So in its long history, the Euros has seen some wacky mascots such as a bunny rabbit, not once but two times, a chicken, a pair of twins, again not once but two times and the greatest one of them all, Pinocchio. In the 1980 Euros in Italy, you won't believe it, Pinocchio was their mascot. Honestly, this is the sort of thing that is missing from the IPL. Imagine if all 10 teams had their own mascot on the pitch. But well, we are here to talk about the Euros, so let's not get distracted. We can't put into words why exactly the Euros are so special. It could be because of its historical significance, the high level of competition and intense rivalries and also due to the diverse playing styles that sees all teams from Europe try to battle it out for that piece of silverware. It could also be because the Euros have seen some dramatic, unpredictable moments. Think about the finals in 2016. France steamrolled their opposition and made it all the way to the finals where they were going to meet a scrappy Portuguese side. The game got off to a shaky start for Portugal and they lost their champion goal scorer Cristiano Ronaldo in the very first half itself. But they held their ground and were able to beat the French in their very own backyard, earning Portugal's first ever major international trophy. And talking about another crazy finals, in the 2021 edition, Italy met England at Wembley, where after a hard contested draw, the game went on to penalties, and there Gianluigi Donnarumma was the saviour, blocking Pukayo Saka's shot in the penalty shootout and handing the trophy to the Italians. This victory marked a sweet redemption for Italy, after their heartbreaking loss in the 2012 Euros. And let's not talk about the sheer number of talents that have risen up as a result of the Euros. That video could be a topic in and of itself. The 2020 Euros saw a record-breaking 142 players take the stage, showcasing the amount of talent spread across the continent. We feel that that number will go up in this year's tournament and we are going to take you on a crazy ride when the Euros start in June the 15th in Germany. So keep coming back to K-Sport for more football coverage Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.